Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are tackling how to make our own cream of mushroom soup. Now, the ingredients in this is very long. I can't read half of the bottom stuff and the flavor is not great. So let's dump this gelatinous substance and let's make our own. I guarantee you it'll knock your socks off. Let's just talk quickly about the basics of a bechamel cream sauce. We are going to use a ratio of two to two. Two butter, two flour, two milk, or liquid. You can do a combination in that two cups of liquid. You can do one cup of half and half and one cup of broth, chicken broth. You can do both two cups of milk. Uh, your flavor will, you'll need to adjust a little bit on your salt, but that's it. Let's start by melting four tablespoons of butter in a pan. Now, why am I using four tablespoons? I just told you two, 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 because I am doubling this recipe. This freezes well, so why not make a double or triple batch? We are gonna put our mushrooms in now. I was lazy, I'm just using 12 ounces of mushrooms because I have a double batch here. And you can use 12 ounces of mushroom, even if you have a single batch, it'll just be more mushroomy. This is one of those recipes you get to decide what to do. Darn it, now my butter's stuck in there. We'll let that go, let that sit. We want our mushrooms to sweat out right now. So let's get them nice and sweaty. Starting to get sweaty, but not sweaty enough. They're still pretty tough. We want these to soften up a bit. Our mushrooms are now soft. Look at all that moisture in our pan. We are now gonna put in just a sprinkle of garlic powder and some onion powder. Let's stir that in. You can use fresh. If you use fresh, put your fresh onion and garlic in with your mushroom right away. Oh, that's smelling good. Now we are gonna do the scary part. We're gonna add our flour. Remember, I'm doubling this. I'm using four tablespoons of flour. And that's gonna get all dry and weird. And you're gonna be like, what the heck is going on? This doesn't look right. It's a gummy mess. It's supposed to be a gummy mess. You'll be fine. We wanna cook this a little bit like this so our flour does not keep its raw flavor. So just cook this a bit. Got like a roux in there now, butter and flour. Let's get that raw flavor out, about 30 to 45 seconds to get that out. And then we can add our cream. Now I'm using, since it's four cups, I'm using two cups of stock, one cup milk, and one cup of heavy cream. If I had half and half, I would just use two cups of stock to two cups of cream. Okay, that looks good. Now I have it all together here. This is four cups of liquid I'm putting in my pan. Yummy! Then we're gonna add pepper. These parts are to your liking, guys. And salt. Now my salt has Arctic thyme in it. You guys should check out my recipe for this. It's super simple, great gift for Christmas. You can use a little pinch of regular thyme or no thyme at all. You can use a little rosemary, that's up to you. We're gonna let this come simmer and come to a very slow, soft boil for it to thicken up. Green bean casseroles usually tell you to put in one teaspoon of Worcestershire. So you can do that in here now, or if you wanna do a little different twist, you can put a sprinkle of nutmeg because nutmeg happens to be amazing with a cream sauce. And I'm talking just a sprinkle. It's very strong and peppery. You can always add more. All right, we got a nice boil going. So we should get the thickness that we need. And if we feel like we need it thicker, I'm gonna show you how we adjust it. Okay, so I got a full boil. So it should be thickening up. It's not as thick as I want it to be. So the two, 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 maybe I should have went two, two, one and a half. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So I have a half a cup of milk here with two tablespoons of flour. Now I'm gonna mix this together and mix it real good. You don't wanna use hot milk, you want it to be cold. 
and I'm going to mix it all together and get rid of all the lumps. Then we're going to pour this into our soup and it's going to thicken it. You want it to be boiling. I turn mine down. It's boiling a little bit too much and I'm just going to put it all in there. It's immediately thickening it up to the consistency that I want. And this would be poured directly over your green beans and you would put your fried onions on top. I'm going to be using this for a chicken dish. Now taste it. Make sure there's enough salt and pepper. You can add a little more thyme and let it simmer a bit. But this is perfect. Now I've seen it done where they, they know you're at a good thickness if you go like this and your sides don't run together anymore. See that? It doesn't run in and meet each other. That's a nice thickness. We are done. I decided I would actually make this recipe four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, and four cups of liquid. And I think that might be a little too much for my 9 by 13 green bean casserole, but I think if I went with a 2-2-2, two, 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 that it would not be enough. Rather have too much and have to freeze it than not enough, right? You don't want to have dry green bean casserole, do you? And there you have it, guys. Homemade cream of mushroom soup that is going to be so amazing. No preservatives, no, none of the MSG and all those other names I couldn't even pronounce. Deliciousness, wholesomeness for you, your family, and friends. I hope your Thanksgiving green bean casserole knocks their socks off. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe below if you want to see more of my videos.